Is the extreme market run up over? I say yes, it is. Hi, it's Sam Wilson with the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, and this video is to accompany the blog that Pamela Wilson writes for me every single month, and actually every other week, but this is the monthly market update, and a few blogs ago, I took a pretty firm stand to say that prices could not keep increasing at the rate they were you know, 15 to 20 percent a month because our houses would be worth twice as much in the Denver Metro by the end of the year. That just can't happen. And uh, it's coming true. I mean, sure, we've had some pretty significant run up through June, but prices in July did take a slight pull back, only two and a half percent, 2.4 percent to be exact. So you know, the sky is not falling, you know, there's no bubble, there's no crash coming, but prices had to plateau. Buyers are exhausted, not to mention the affordability issue. So all of this stuff you're hearing in the news, um, my attempt here is to just summarize and tell you what sellers can expect going forward for the rest of 21 and what buyers can, can expect and some actions that both can take. So of course, you know, I talk about buyers and sellers because in my business, on my real estate team, we serve both. So let me start with sellers. Again, prices just can't keep running up the way they were. It's just not logical. So while it is still a seller's market, days on market are still well under one month. I think August will show something closer to 20 days, but July homes did sell very, very quickly, like nine days. So what we are seeing, though, is an increase in inventory. In inventory is up about 30%. So there's about a third more homes on the market, thus giving buyers more choices. Therefore, what we're seeing is a lot less multiple offers, less bidding wars, and less buyers throwing their hat in the ring when a good property does come up. So the other thing we're seeing, believe it or not, we're seeing some price reductions. Now, don't worry, there's not a lot of that happening, but if you're in a neighborhood where there's a lot of competition, it is something to be aware of. So make sure you're getting the proper advice. Uh, when we update our listing clients, our sellers on a weekly basis, we show you all the properties on the market that both came on since you were listed and went under contract, in other words, buyers, purchase those while you are actively listed. So we need to pay attention to that because if you're not priced properly, you may not get the offers or the velocity that you expect. Things have changed. So for buyers, look, there's no crash coming. If you're waiting for an extreme price decrease, it's just not going to happen. Now, having said that, you can certainly negotiate a little better now. You can negotiate for inspection items. Do not waive your appraisal rights like buyers have been doing up to this point in the year. Let's protect you. Let's make sure that we're making a fair purchase. Now, sellers have to understand and expect this as well. The home is going to have to pass inspection. It is going to have to appraise for the purchase price or close to it. So let's consider this to be a little more of an equilibrium, more of a fair market. Now for sellers, certainly prices are gonna plateau a little bit, but we're still at the highest prices, highest price per square foot ever in history in the Denver Metro. For buyers with interest rates being so low, look at it from a payment perspective. You are never gonna have the opportunity to buy a home with as low a payment as you can right now. I uh, read an article this morning, um, today is August 13th, Friday, August 13th, and there was an article this morning from one of the more popular services that reports this that stated um, in interest rates have ticked up a little bit. So with inflation, with consumer demand, with uh, you know the little bit of a roller coaster we're seeing with COVID right now. You can expect some fluctuation, but you're not gonna see rates extremely lower than they are now, and you're not gonna see home prices drop significantly. Sure, there's always a little bit of a winter slowdown, but there's also a little bit of a pullback from listings during that time. So let's be reasonable about this. The run-up is not going to continue at the pace it was. 
the sky is not falling. It is just simply a more balanced and equilibrium type of uh, marketplace for both sellers and buyers. So let's all be realistic about it. Hey, if you need some expert advice, uh, you can call me anytime. My uh, direct line is on the website here, but you can reach me anytime uh, by phone or text message 303-770-1250 or just hit me up, click on this video, click on any place in my website. Lots of helpful information for both buyers and sellers. It's always free. There's never any obligation. I'm just trying to help people in the Denver Metro real estate market. So feel free to call on me anytime. I'm always happy to chat. Hope you have a great weekend.